Hey everybody, Homeslice Henry here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at one of the spiciest possible theme teams in the Great League, and that is the three-headed theme team. This team is comprised entirely of Pokemon that have three heads, so on the lead, we are running Magneton with Zap Cannon. As our safe switch, if you can call that, we have Dodrio, and as the closer, we are running Hydreigon. Now, this team has an immense amount of weaknesses and shouldn't be able to win any games, but somehow, we manage. So without further ado, let's hop into the matches and check out the three-headed team in action in the Great League. Hopping to the first match, picking up a pretty decent lead, Magneton into Azumarill. Opponent save switches into Sableye, and I have the perfect response available with Hydreigon. I'm going to farm up and fire off the Brutal Swing on the CMP Tide to the return, and Brutal Swing will be lethal. Back in comes Azumarill, and I'm hoping to make it to the Flash Cannon. I get to the Flash Cannon. It ends up being on alignment, but honestly, I just want the damage. Flash Cannon connects. Azu is going to be forced to fire off a charge move here to get the KO. As you may notice, this team is ABA weak to counter, and honestly, I could probably describe it as triple weak to counter, because Dodrio just gets shredded by neutral counters. Magnet Bomb is going to get the shield that would just be lethal from that health range. My opponent does have a lot of energy on Azu, and the fact that they're shielding makes me think that Magneton could have play in back as well. They make it to another move. I tank what they throw here. It's just going to be the play rough. I'm able to absorb that damage. Oh my goodness. It's Frostlass in the back. Opponent ABA weak to Magneton. And the three-headed theme team is about to feast. Magnet Bomb one-shots the Frostlass. In comes Dodrio. Opponent sees the writing on the wall and concedes the match. We see a core breaker on the lead in the next match, Magneton going up against Shadow Gliscor. Now Shadow Gliscor does have some pretty decent play versus this entire team. I'm going to farm up and fire off the Magnet Bomb. Magnet Bomb is going to hit for a ton of damage, but unfortunately it's not going to be enough to KO. I decided to call the bait here. I'm a Magneton. I'm pretty glassy, so it makes sense that my opponent would just go straight Night Slash. I will commit the shield as my opponent goes for Night Slash number two. I'm farming up and I'm going to fire off the Magnet Bomb just before they make it to the Night Slash. I'm expecting they're under-tapping the Night Slash, so I switch into Dodrio to catch. And as you're going to see, look how much damage this Night Slash does. Night Slash does so much damage. In comes Lantern. Lantern, not necessarily what Dodrio was hoping to see, but I have a Hydreigon in the back that would love to see the Lantern. Brave Bird does massive damage for a resistant move. My goodness. And now I can send in Hydreigon. Hydreigon looking for the farm down. Lantern is going to start firing off resistant moves. They go for the Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is going to land and they're able to hang on with a sliver of HP and make it to the Surf. Surf does start to get me low and that is a bit worrisome. I don't know what they have in the back. It's a Lickitung. I'm farming up, going for the Flash Cannon, but it gets caught. And at this point, unfortunately, this is just looking like game over here. I send in the Magneton. I have one win con. If my opponent fails to respect the Zap Cannon, then I have a chance. I'm farming up. I'm going for the Zap Cannon here. This is my last ditch effort. Zap Cannon gets the shield and I concede the match. Picking up a tough lead in the next match, Magneton into Trevenant. I do have two very good Trev answers in the back, so I am going to be safe switching into Dodrio. My opponent responds with a Toxapex. Toxapex farming up, and I win CMP with the Brave Bird here. Brave Bird will do massive damage if it lands, which it does, but unfortunately with my defense lowered, I cannot take switch. So instead, I'm actually gonna go for a big farm on Magneton. So I'm gonna fully wait my clock, and then I'm gonna send in Magneton and look for the Thundershock farm down here. I'm hoping if I can leave with energy, that should put me in a better spot. I leave with a ton of energy here, ready for that Trevenant opponent. They're thinking about it. They send in an Obstagoon, I have one win con going for the Zap Cannon. Do they respect it? They do not. Hydreigon farms down. And now this Trevenant is in a world of hurt. There's just nothing they can do. All charge moves resisted. They go for the Shadow Ball. Hydreigon tanks it like a champion. Opponent gets fully farmed down. And that is a good game. Disaster strikes in the next match, Magneton into Swampert. I save switch into Dodrio, and my opponent responds with a Shadow of Bomb of Snow. Everything going wrong in this match. They go for the Weather Ball, they're able to outpace, and unfortunately if I shield, I'm just getting farmed down. So, I elect to let that through. 
I'm now gonna send back in the Magneton, but my Switch Clock is still nowhere close to being up. I'm gonna be firing off the Magnet Bomb here. Magnet Bomb is going to KO the Obama Snow. My opponent choosing to wait their timer, which does actually help me. They're gonna send back in the Swampert. I go for the Magnet Bomb. This is basically just to burn my Switch Clock, and then I have to hope that Hydreigon has play in the back. In comes Hydreigon. It's Hydreigon versus a Knocked Owl, and unfortunately, Hydreigon, as opposed to Zwilix, which I have run in an earlier video, doesn't quite have the same bulk, so it does struggle more versus Knocked Owl. I'm gonna be firing off the Brutal Swing here. Brutal Swing will deal some nice chip damage, so we do see a shield from the opponent, and I'm firing off another Brutal Swing on the CMP tie. So at the very least, I am able to force the final shield, but unfortunately, I'm gonna have to give up the final shield as well. The question will be, am I going to be able to get the catch here? My clock is almost up, looking for the catch. Opponent does a great job holding on to their energy, and this is just gonna be game over. They did leave with energy on the Knocked Owl. They're able to KO, and unfortunately, they have another Hydro for the Hydreigon as well. Hydro takes down Hydreigon, and that's game over. Picking up a great lead in the next match, Magneton into Alola Ninetales. Opponent is going to save switch into Lantern, and the good news is we have Hydreigon. Hydreigon, of course, is going to be resisting all charge moves that Lantern has, but Hydreigon is very glassy in the Great League. You can see after a Thunderbolt, unfortunately, with the Sparks, I'm already below half health. I fire off the Brutal Swing, that's gonna be no shielded, and this is another Thunderbolt. I'm hoping that I can tank it and farm down here, but Thunderbolt gets me very low, and I'm actually the one who gets farmed. I'm gonna send in Magneton, farm them down. In the back, they have Registeel, oh my goodness. We have energy, this is possible. Zap Cannon, big damage onto the Registeel. I farm up, switch, and catch what should hopefully be a Focus Blast onto Dodrio. It is... Dodrio is going to get farmed down by the Ninetales, but I have saved energy on the Magneton. With that catch, I think I might actually be able to win this, despite losing Switch in the mid-game. Magneton with energy is just so deadly. I'm going for Magnet Bomb number two. This is going to be grabbing a shield from my opponent. My opponent has so much energy, and they have to start using it now. They're going to grab the first of my shields here, and they're going to be able to grab the second as well. I have to shield everything, and then just make sure that my opponent is not able to catch. So, I'm actually going to wait to see their Powder Snow start, so I can fire off the Magnet Bomb in the middle, get the KO, back in comes the Registeel. It's a race, but Magneton is very spammy. Getting to the Magnet Bomb, down goes the Registeel, and that is a good game. The good leads continue in the next match. Magneton into Charizard. Opponent is going to save switch into Trevenant. And it's greeted not by a Knocked Owl, but the spicier normal flying type, Dodrio. They're going to be firing off the Shadow Ball. That's double resisted, but still does so much damage. Dodrio has absolutely no bulk to speak of. I fire off the Drill Pack. They're going to let that through. And now, if they try and farm down with the Charizard, I think I can make a Brave Bird. My opponent is going to send back in the Charizard, farming up to the Brave Bird, but they throw the Dragon Claw. Honestly, I want to try and grab shields, so I will commit the shield so I can go for the Brave Bird here. We've seen how much damage Brave Bird can do. Opponent is going to respect it with a shield. In the back, they have Toxicroak, and everything goes wrong. As I mentioned at the beginning, this team is so weak to anything fighting, and I'm just being torn to shreds by Toxicroak here. I fire off the Brutal Swing. Brutal Swing is going to grab the final shield. Can I make it to a Magnet Bomb here with Magneton? Magneton! gets outpaced this is a double super effective mud bomb massive overkill and that's game over the good leads continue in the next match magneton into shadow obama snow i'm very happy to see the ice type on the lead opponent save switches into sableye and we have a great response available with hydreigon but unfortunately here i mistimed the brutal swing and let them sneak an entire shadow claw for free and that cost me big time as due to the sneak they're actually able to make it to a return and four shield advantage. So a definite misplay there for me as I have switch advantage, but I had to give up a shield to do so. My opponent is gonna be sending back in the Shadow of Bomb Snow. These Powder Snows are shredding Hydreigon. Hydreigon will make the Brutal Swing just before it gets KO'd. This would do so much damage, so the opponent is forced to burn a shield. I'm gonna send in Magneton. I do tank any one move here, but these resistant moves hit so hard. Energy Ball, massive damage. Magneton wins CMP with the Magnet Bomb, and if they wanna get off their next move, they're gonna have to shield, and they do. And you know what? 
I'm going to trust in Dodrio here. This is a read. I'm trusting Dodrio with an energy lead. In comes Dodrio. Looking for the farm down opponent. Makes it to a move. I'll commit the shield. I'm hoping I can Brave Bird whatever's in the back. It's a Metacham. Let's go. We're going to fire off the Brave Bird. This is going to be one-shotting the Metacham. Back in comes Obama Snow. It gets Faint Attack down as we secure the win. Hopping into the next match, picking up another great lead, Magneton into Noctowl. Opponent save switches into Trevenant, and this time I'm going to send in Hydreigon. Previously, I was bringing Dodrio into Trevenant save switches, but I decided to switch it up because having Brave Bird in the end game is quite nice. I'm going to farm up, fire off the Brutal Swing, and this Brutal Swing is easily going to be getting rid of the Trevenant. Opponent is going to be waiting their clock, and then they're going to be sending back in the Noctowl. But the slightly scary thing is that Noctowl can tank whatever I throw and potentially look to farm down. There, I tried to go for the CMP tie in case they went for the Sky Attack, but my opponent is not interested in the Sky Attack. What they're interested in is the farm down and because I tried to go for a CMP there unfortunately I end up getting farmed down because I let them sneak I send in Dodrio because I really can't afford to take damage here on the Magneton I will commit the shield look for the faint attack down we'll have to see what they have in the back oh no it's a Metacham my only hope is for some reason they let the drill pet go and they do wait is this possible? I would have to Thundershock down. The counters shredding through the Magneton. Magneton just cannot KO the Metacham. Speaking of Metacham, guess what we see on the lead in the next match? And this is basically just game over. I'm going to send in Dodrio. I only take neutral from counter here, but you would not guess it based on how much damage their fast moves are doing. Ice Punch will grab a shield. They're now going to send in Noctowl. I'm going to farm up and go for the Brave Bird on their sixth swing attack. So that way I win CMP. Brave Bird hits like an absolute truck, but just not enough to KO the Noctowl. Noctowl will KO Dodrio with the Sky Attack, and now I bring in Magneton. But the bad news is my remaining Pokemon all take super effective damage from counter, so I am in so much trouble. Back in comes the Metacham. These counters shredding through the Magneton. I have one hope. And it's the Zap Cannon farming up. Do they respect it? They do not. They get one shot. It's a Shadow Charizard in the back. Opponent sees the writing on the wall and concedes the match. The tough leads continue in the next match. Magneton into Galarian Stunfisk. I send in Hydreigon. My opponent is going to respond with a Shadow Dragonair. And I am just getting melted by Dragon Breath here. Brutal Swing gets the shield. My opponent is going to farm down. And this is just so tough. I have nothing for Galarian Stunfisk with this team. I send in the Magneton. I can tank an Aqua Tail, but not well. This Aqua Tail does so much neutral damage. I'm able to farm down. And I'm just going to need to fire off the Magnet Bomb to burn the Switch Clock. And then send in Dodrio. Magnet Bomb is going to connect. That just does not do enough damage. I send in Dodrio. And they have a Rock Slide waiting for me. That would hit for so much damage. So I will commit the shield. Opponent has a Knocked Owl in the back. And there's just absolutely no hope for me in this game. I choose to let this through. Look how much damage that Sky Attack does. Dodrio is so glassy. I fire off the Brave Bird. Brave Bird is able to land. I send back in the Magneton. And I resign the match. Hopping into the final match, picking up a favorable lead, Magneton into Wall Rain. Again, happy to see the Ice type on the lead. Opponent is going to save switch into Trevenant, and it is Dodrio time. Opponents save switching Trevenant like there isn't Knocked Owl in the meta, or in my case, Dodrio. Dodrio is going to be firing off the Drill Peck here. Drill Peck will easily KO from this range. Opponent committing a shield. They are trying to make a play for switch, and I cannot let that happen. My Hydreigon would get shredded by Wall Rain. So I'm going to fully faint attack down, and I'm close to a Brave Bird. In comes the Wall Rain, charging up the Brave Bird. Do they respect it? They do not! Nearly one-shotting a Wall Rain. In comes Magneton in the back. They have Lorantis, and this is not good. Lorantis, with super power, can hit my remaining Pokemon for super effective damage. I send in Hydreigon. I just have to make it to the Brutal Swing. This is tough. I shield. It's a Leaf Blade bait. Hydreigon wins CMP over Lorantis. Let's go. Brutal Swing KOs, farms down the wall rain, and secures the win. All in all, this is probably one of the most difficult theme teams that I've ever attempted. 
Pokemon with three heads do not have good synergy with each other in Go Battle League whatsoever. They basically all lose to Metachamp, they basically all lose to Galarian Thunfisk, and those are probably the two most common Pokemon, not counting Noctowl, that you're gonna see in the Great League. So honestly, the fact that we were able to get any wins whatsoever, including beating a couple Metachamp, I am extremely happy with. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoy the type of theme team content, Leave a comment, let me know what theme teams would you like to see in the future. And a special thank you as always to our members here on YouTube. The support you guys provide is absolutely incredible. So thank you guys oh so very much. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.